When Sol started um, talking about his art, um, I realized we're, he's not the only artist around, and there's many artists around, and we should actually come together um, with his idea of connecting somehow Judaism and art uh, together. What we do is um, we begin with each artist working artists presenting their work that uh, is in the making and through their explanation of the process I pick up on Jewish themes and then I expand the conversation um, into those themes. Judaism Art is a committee at Teferoth Israel Greenport that uh, I started uh, about four or five years ago with the notion that I would learn about Judaism through art, since that's I learn about most everything through my art anyway. Uh, I was a gastroenterologist uh, in the area uh, for 30 years, and then uh, I took on a, a administrative job uh, at. Peconic Bay Medical Center, being a medical director for seven years. During that time, uh, I started taking art lessons, that was 20 years ago, uh, and have not stopped. It was a conscious attempt to do, use Judaic themes, and even when you don't use Judaic themes, having the rabbi there to uh, interpret what you've done in terms of the concepts that are in the Talmud has been very useful and also leads to further work uh, that you may not have ever considered uh, as exploring. The Judaism and Art Group um, has presented a very interesting opportunity for me as an artist and as a Jew um, and as somebody who is spending <laughs> a lot more time with my spiritual and religious beliefs as I've gotten older. I've been making art since I'm 10 or 12 years old. When I was a kid I had a scholarship to the Museum of Modern Art and took classes there and then went on um, specializing um, in college and in graduate school and I've been an artist all those years although for several decades I took time out. I ran a statewide um, arts training and lobbying program. I lobbied um, for public support of the arts at both the federal and the state level. I had a overwhelming concern and issue with um, Neshama rising and the transition and tension between life and death. I am retired for two years as a teacher from Shelter Island School where I taught special education and reading for 28 years and um, my whole career was 35 years and um, I studied art as an undergraduate, but went into teaching and didn't really, wasn't very active as an artist until about 2007, before I retired. It was wonderful when I retired because I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a quilter, <laughs> to quilt every day. Certainly the the Judaic concepts, I really embrace that. I love the I love thinking about expressing um, those in through my quilting, and have managed to continue to do that since I've been in the group. Judaism was, was very very important to Bob. He joined the service when he was only 17 years old because it was World War II, and he wanted to go and fight Hitler. So all the Holocaust and all those things left a very deep impression in him. And he joined the group with Saul, and I also joined the group. 
even though quite frankly I wasn't doing that much work at the time, but I still was an artist and interested in art and both of us had a very strong feeling about being Jewish and all the anti-Semitism, so we felt this was our chance to kind of contribute to the world as the great artists that the Jews had produced. And the work you see here is a few pieces by me, but most of the work is by my husband, Robert Strumban. We both met in a sculpture class at Chaim Gross at the Education Alliance, and the rest was history because we married a few months after that, and both of us very, very involved with art, and especially my husband, who this was his livelihood, his profession, and he was doing art since he was 12 years old. I majored in art in high school, took many classes at the Brooklyn Museum Art School before I decided to turn to sculpture. Well, my pieces are actually of elderly Jewish people that were at the senior center at the Education Alliance. And in fact, that one piece in particular is one of the women that attended the senior group there. And so even the one with the Shabbat is a Friday night service, so that definite connection with the, my Jewish background. And Bob's, I think, was sort of a humorous take on, on Jewish humor, because he kind of poked fun at a lot of these people that were pretentious. As you see, a lot of those paper figures are sort of a humorous comments on some of these people that pretend to be what they're not. So I think it was the Jewish humor that influenced Bob's work. I have been taking photographs probably since I was a young girl. I started thinking about it as art maybe in the last 20 years. Before I came here I owned a business and I worked with people who had brain injuries. And I had an outpatient facility as well as group homes. This work was very different from wandering about in nature and taking pictures. And although I loved every minute of what I did as a professional, I'm finding a different kind of gratification from watching my art grow. I cannot disconnect the fact that I'm Jewish from my art. It's part of whom I, whom I am, who I am. It's part of how I was raised. So just as I see things through a woman's eye, I also see it through my Jewish heritage way. And I, a good part of my art at the moment is about nature. And I think I bring with it the thoughts of how we all began and what nature means and how very special it is.